Welcome back, fellow movie enthusiasts. Today, we have something incredibly exciting lined up for you. I'm your host, and together, we'll unravel the secrets behind this movie so, without further ado, let's get started. Once upon a time within the Spiderhead prison and investigate established, a man finds himself in an perception room, inquired to take part in a trial. Beneath the careful eye of Steve Abnesti, played by Chris Hemsworth, the man is managed to medicate and subjected to a arrangement of jokes. Abnormally, indeed the most agreeable jokes incite wild giggling from him. The taking after day, another detainee named Jeff, depicted by Miles Teller, is summoned for a puzzling field visit. Blindfolded and transported to an obscure area, Jeff is given a sedate called N-40. When his blindfold is evacuated, he is struck by the excellence of his environment, as it were to find he has been taken to a waste-filled refinery. To assist him express his contemplations, Jeff is given another medicate known as Verbalus. Afterward, within the jail kitchen, he offers his encounter with Lizzie, played by Journey Smollett. As the night falls, Jeff encounters a flashback, uncovering that he finished up in Spiderhead due to a appalling occurrence. Whereas inebriated at a party, he chosen to go for a drive with his companion. Resulting in a obliterating mishap that claimed his friend's life. Within the perception room, Jeff and another detainee named Heather, depicted by Tess Hobrick, are brought together. In spite of their need of fascination towards each other, once dosed with N-40. They out of the blue express their adore and lock in in a recorded insinuate experience, watched by Steve and his collaborator Stamp, played by Czech Paguio. Steve clarifies that the reason of N-40 isn't as it were to actuate brief cherish but too to explore its enduring impacts. In the interim, Jeff and Lizzie develop closer, investing more time together and shaping a bond. Jeff is subjected to another Cherish Explore, this time with a twofold dosage including Sarah. Complications emerge when Jeff is entrusted with choosing which of the two detainees, Sarah or Heather. Ought to be dosed with Darkenflox, a sedate that causes serious tumult. Hesitant to subject either of them to such torment, Jeff stands up to making a choice. Be that as it may, Steve demands, emphasizing the need for their inquire about into N-40 or Levactin. Frantic to get comes about. Steve endeavors the try with Sarah and Heather but fails to inspire the required reaction. Check gets to be progressively concerned around the moral suggestions of these tests. It is additionally uncovered that Steve himself habitually takes dosages of the drugs to get at the encounters of others. Confronting weight from higher specialists, Steve is cleared out with no choice but to manage Darkenflocks to Heather, plans to record Jeff's response. Deplorably. A incident happens, coming about in Heather's overdose. She spirals out of control, pulverizing the room and eventually taking her claim life. Within the chaos, Steve incidentally drops his keys. Seizing the opportunity. Jeff peruses Steve's diary and finds that Steve is the proprietor of the pharmaceutical company behind these trials. He too reveals a bingo card utilized to title the different drugs point two numbers, N, 40 and B, 6, lack gold stars, piquing Jeff's interest. A part of Spiderhead depends on the interest of its preface, which is prodded by observing Hemsworth thrust Teller through distinctive strategies, making a fellowship that this motion picture treats as its light stakes. It's nearly sufficient to create you not realize that so small happens within the first 40 minutes that the experiments, which gotten to be increasingly manipulative, hardly have a total unease. It gets to be clear how much a brief story must have been extended out. Upon Steve's return to the control room, Jeff tactfully returns everything to its unique state. Steve attempts to cover up Heather's passing, guaranteeing Stamp that their activities serve the more noteworthy grade of society. He immovably accepts that these emotion-altering drugs speak to the future. In an startling turn of occasions, Steve engages in a discussion with Jeff, advertising him something to assist adapt with his claim battles. They both ingest Laffodil, a sedate that actuates wild chuckling. 
Steve offers a deeply personal story around his deserting by his father, emphasizing the drug's capacity to make a positive encounter. In the interim, Steve tests with a unused sedate called Phobica on Lizzie, bringing out extraordinary dread. Lizzie trusts in Jeff around her unsettling encounter, cultivating a more profound association between them. Jeff at long last uncovers a long-held mystery, amid the deadly car mishap, not as it were was his friend present but moreover his sweetheart. He was charged with two checks of intentional murder. Lizzie comforts him, empowering self-forgiveness, and they look for comfort within the kitchen. The concept of jail is as concrete as the structure utilized for its main penitentiary. But, Spiderhead, appears to say more with its introduce than its follow-through. It's persuaded to delineate how the American jail framework may well be more compassionate. But at that point the plot's bigger uncovers almost what's truly going on are as near to an anti-surprise as you'll be able get. The control is more awful than Jeff knows. And the plotting makes the film's empty nature indeed more inescapable with its helpful thrills, including a scene including dropped keys to a mystery drawer, and a shoulder shrug of a fantastic finale. Indeed the morals with respect to jail ended up toothless. Steve. Recognizing the potential for an advantageous circumstance, hinders their minute. He plans to subject Lizzie to Darkenflox, but Jeff denies to comply. Disappointed, Steve finds himself at an intersection. When Chuck replenishes Jeff's sedate doses, Jeff influences him to resist Steve's orders and uncover the truth of what is happening in Spiderhead to the world. Unfazed, Steve continues in his explore. Uncovering Lizzie's genuine crime, a deplorable occurrence where she incidentally cleared out her child in a car for three hours amid the searing summer, coming about in charges of rash endangerment and automatic murder. In spite of this disclosure, Jeff's sentiments for Lizzie stay unaltered. But anything, Spiderhead, is giggling almost, or attempting to sneak interior its show, doesn't sparkle shinning sufficient. The motion picture can be so in reverse that indeed its lead can appears out of place, it's at first curiously to see Hemsworth play somebody as incapacitating as he is manipulative, but he gets to be a heavy-handed expression of the movie's constrained explanations around science, control. Control. He makes a more grounded case for being recast, for somebody who doesn't fare take the hot researcher wearing glasses figure of speech back. Utilizing his newly discovered control over the explorer, Jeff regulates Darkenflox to Steve. With Mark's help, they subject Steve to a combination of unnerving drugs, including the secret of B-6. Within the following battle, Steve recaptures control briefly but accidentally measurements Lizzie. Overpowered by the impacts of the blend, Steve scarcely holds himself together. As specialists near in, Steve oversees to escape in his plane, carrying the remaining drugs. Jeff and Lizzie elude on board a watercraft. The combination of drugs expended by Steve leads to visualizations, causing him to crash into a mountainside. In the interim, Jeff and Lizzie delight in their recently discovered opportunity, lolling within the bliss of giggling and daylight. And hence, the story of Spiderhead concludes with Jeff and Lizzie grasping their elude from the turned world of exploratory drugs and deceptive homes. Whereas Steve's rule comes to an emotional conclusion. So to sum this up, did you guys enjoy this movie? Hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. We do this every now and then. So make sure you're always up to it every time we post new semi-erotic movies for you to enjoy. Don't forget our channel named Movie Technocrats and share it to your friends and watch the funny scenes together and make some memories with each other. Till next time technocrats. See you.